Welcome to your comprehensive Trade Dots walkthrough. This video will guide first-time users on how to set up and design trading strategies with our Buy Sell Signals indicator. Our Trade Dots Buy Sell Signals. Implement the trend following strategy, providing both macro and micro trend evaluations for accurate spotting of entry and exit points. Want to delve deeper into our strategic theory? Check out our indicator manual or trading view indicator description. The links are in the description below. This is a crucial tip for aspiring successful traders. Always buy assets in the trend, whether it's an uptrend or downtrend. Sideways markets can lead to multiple stopouts, which aren't ideal for this strategy. If you have upgraded your subscription with our backtesting tool, you can quickly identify profitable and poor performing markets via backtest profit and loss results. Our exit strategy is also set to be more conservative to achieve a high win rate. More exit strategies are coming in the future. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on X for future updates. Our indicator currently offers the trading modes, buy and hold and swing trading, Depending on market performance and your trading style, you can select between these two strategies. Buy and hold, a perfect choice. If you're highly confident about a market or trading assets upward trend and not planning to sell anytime soon, as seen with SPY, US100, NVDA, and the recent BTC market, this strategy efficiently spots underpriced timing and provides entry opportunities. This approach outperforms dollar cost averaging, which only specifies a random buying price. If buy and hold suits you, select your preferred trading assets, anticipate a strong upward trend, and choose a time frame that coincides with your trading frequency. No need to worry about the rest of the settings as no exit signals are generated with this strategy simply wait for new signals indicating entry points however if you wish to sell and profit switch to the swing trading strategy this approach identifies exit opportunities indicating an overpriced market the second trading mode swing trading strategy captures short to mid-term market opportunities for gains it acts on swing highs and lows to identify market movements this doesn't mean it's superior to buy and hold. Swing trading employs a conservative exit strategy and will exit a position at the first sign of market reversal, potentially missing out on larger trends. The swing trading strategy is best suited to trading assets with a clear uptrend or downtrend with healthy periodic pullbacks. We've compiled a list of over 100 stocks, consistently growing over the last year to decades. They align well with the swing trading strategy. The download link to the stock list is in the description below. Setting up a swing trading strategy is indeed more intricate, as it demands adjustments of various settings and values that align with your selected assets and markets. Here are the four parameters that shape your swing trading performance. First of all, market order direction. You can choose between long only short only, and long and short. For a long only strategy, limiting yourself to long positions is ideal in a bullish market. When the smart trend feature shows more green backgrounds than red, and red backgrounds are typically shallow, we're likely in a bullish phase. To verify this, use TradeDot's backtesting tool for deeper analysis. Set the order size to 100% of equity at commission and slippage for more accurate percentage return. On the other hand, a short only strategy suits bearish phases but is rarely recommended, as we generally don't anticipate a continuous fall in asset value in trading. Use this during market correction or recessions. If you notice more red backgrounds than green ones, and the green regions are typically shallow, this suggests that the market is most likely in a bearish state. And then, there's the long and short strategy. This approach keeps you active irrespective of the market state, bullish or bearish. However, volatile or sideways markets pose challenges. 
leading to losses as the quick toggle might trigger stop loss orders on both sides. After choosing a strategy, the next important value to set is the stop loss value. The stop loss feature sets a predetermined percentage value to exit a trade when the position falls beneath the threshold. To find the best stop loss position that generated maximum historical returns, use the backtesting tool as you could simply trial and error different numbers until one get the most profitable returns. A usual stop loss percentage for stocks is 5 to 9 percent. Assuming you aren't wagering your entire portfolio on one stock, other assets might require lesser risk, around 1 to 2 percent of the portfolio, as they are less volatile unless you're trading with high leverage. Trade Dots currently includes 10 different alert types, 8 for entry alerts with for signals each for long and short, the remaining to signals. Take profit and stop loss signals are triggered based on changing market conditions and price action. Strong alerts are designed to spotlight high reward opportunities. Even at the expense of a portion of the win rate, they commonly emerge near previous support pivots and changes in character areas, so are best complemented with a tight stop loss strategy too. Promptly respond to any shifts in market trends. Weak alerts are typically activated during strong market momentum phases, pinpointing fleeting entry opportunities for traders to capitalize on. Reversal alerts are designed to pinpoint potential market reversals. These alerts highlight extreme oversold or overbought conditions, facilitating swift trading actions in markets that are underpriced or overpriced. Breakout alerts scout for entries at a recent high, often triggered by gap creation following significant economic events or earnings releases. They suit traders who subscribe to the buy high, sell higher approach. Take profit alerts indicate that the predetermined logic and price criteria set by the trade dots algorithms have been met and provide a signal for an appropriate exit point from the current trading position. Stop loss alerts are triggered when the price strikes the preset stop loss percentage in the indicator settings. These alerts warn traders to mitigate potential losses. Last but not least, the market trend feature uses a moving average line to detect the current trend by default. This feature uses the 200 exponential moving average EMA, a common trend indicator. When the asset's price moves above the EMA, it implies a bullish trend, while a price below the EMA suggests a bearish trend. You usually don't need to adjust the EMA during initial setup, but you can fine-tune it using the backtesting tool that wraps up our tutorial on the main features now available on the trade dots by sell signals. There will be more features and strategies coming in the near future, so please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on X and join our Telegram to get them first. Until then see you in the next one.